Well, what is the future of the downtown Madison Library? That is the question tonight as a new study, new cost estimates, and even the mayor question the likelihood of a hotel being part of a big library project. News 3's Linda Eggert joins us now with more on all of this, Linda. Susan, the Madison Library Board has backed a $37 million new library plan by the local Fiori companies. But a new downtown hotel study is causing some to have second thoughts about a big piece of that plan, the hotel. The Fiori Company's $88 million plan for the downtown library block appears stunning in sketches. It includes a bright six-story glass and stone library at Henry and West Washington, retail space, parking, and a 140-room hotel. A hotel a new study says should be delayed, perhaps for years, because it would only siphon business away from better hotel projects like the Edgewater. But a top official for the Fiore company says that doesn't change their hotel plan at all. It doesn't X out ours whatsoever. I'm, I, I, you know, it'll be a, a, a completely different market segment. Bill Kunkler is executive vice president of the Fiori Companies. He says Fiori plans no changes to its proposal for the library block, insisting its extended stay suites will fill a niche and be in demand at what he calls the best hotel site in the city. But talk to the mayor and he doesn't sound so sure. In fact, he says in light of the Hunden Hotel study, the city should evaluate the library project without a hotel. I think that uh, if we just assume a hotel will go go forward there, the numbers would look great, but I think in light of the Hunden study, we've got to back off of that and take the most conservative numbers possible and, and, uh, and make our evaluation that way. And the mayor says that means either looking at a library project with condos instead of a hotel or renovating the existing library. Each would cost the city the same, roughly $24 million. Fiore says renovating the library would be a tragedy. It would be a huge mistake because at the end of the day, it will cost the taxpayers more. Indeed, a new city auditor's report shows the Fiore library plan with the hotel is the cheapest, $8 million cheaper than the two other options. And Kunkler says the extra hotel room tax and property tax revenue might even wind up covering the entire cost of the library. But should the hotel move forward, the mayor will answer that question, Susan, formally in an announcement early next week. We'll see. Linda Eggert reporting tonight. Linda, thank you very You're much. Welcome.